Welcome, affiliated listeners. We are so excited to be on site at Trafficking Conversion 2022 um, with, honestly, I think one of the most impactful conversations because we're going to be talking with a guest who happens to be an expert in the number one vertical, the number one thing to be selling on ClickBank right now, which is supplements in the health and fitness realm. And we're going to be talking with someone that's not only written winning sales pages, written winning VSLs, um, but also is an owner of multiple brands. And at the end, there's a little bonus thing that we're going to be talking about that he's doing that could allow you to share in the exact same success. But I'm talking about Peter Zemes, a friend, a buddy, um, and I think one of my favorite marketers in the industry. How are oh, you doing today, man. Peter? Good, man. I'm great. That was, that was awesome. Yeah. Man. So I'm a hype band. Yeah. You need some hype, right? <laughs> yeah, man. I'm doing yeah. great. Awesome, man. We're glad to have you here today. And really what I wanted to share about is, as I'd mentioned, supplements are the biggest vertical on ClickBank right now. Um, they yeah. continue really well. Um, and that being said, a lot of people are chasing that drag of the ultimate supplement offer, something that's going to be great for affiliates mm -hmm. and something you have a lot of experience doing. Yeah. Um, so before we kind of jump into, I, I'd love to yeah. get a little bit of your back history before I just to highlight to people, I'd yeah. really love to get some ideas about kind of some, some tips and tricks that you know that you're not seeing people doing that could really elevate a supplement offer. Before we get into that, yeah. I think we'll be a little cu curious how you went from like, I don't know, being born and living yeah. life in Toronto to yeah. to being, you know, this this expert in the supplement industry. So so walk me through your background a little bit, man. Yeah, man. I was a, uh, a typical kind of like nerdy kid. You know, I used to write short stories. Um, oh. Yeah, yeah. Just Wait, tell me. Can you give me an example of like a title of one of these short stories? <sighs> I have that a title, but I used to write short stories where I have like my, my pet squirrel and we'd like take on the world basically <laughs> oh yeah yeah his, Dude, name, that's his awesome. name was nick his name was nick, his name was so. nick yeah well middle name is nicholas so yeah oh yeah. so it's just your own name <laughs> yeah pretty much some weird identity thing i don't know <laughs> dude that's awesome well yeah. as someone that wrote a comic book in my oh, youth um yeah. for hamsters that came from outer space and <laughs> eventually um, infiltrated and tried to kill the world i understand yeah. that oh, I understand. Nice. no nicks in my story no nicks <laughs> <laughs> so you're writing short stories about your yeah. squirrel adventures and yeah and then uh when i was a uh, younger i actually wrote like a, a published poem no way in french yeah je parle français but yeah. oh <laughs> i didn't know you spoke french yeah, yeah that's awesome dude so yeah. and then uh after that you know doing high school thing and you know Girls don't like nerdy kids that much. They like the jocks, you know? And like, I mean, I'm and I guess there's a lot of people that spoke French there because normally in America, yeah. that would have played real nice yes, for you. Yes, yes. Speaking Canada. French and writing poetry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Um, but yeah, you know, I couldn't get a girlfriend in high school. And so somehow I found my way on the deep, dark corners of the internet and bought a program called the Girlfriend Activation System by, uh, I think it was Jonathan Hudson at mm -hmm. the time. And uh, that led me onto all these email lists and started getting into this direct response. And I didn't know what I was doing at the time. And then, you know, I went to university, was doing my bio degree, um, you know, wanted to be a doctor. My dad's up there. My uncles are there. And uh, I'm like, you know, screw it. Like, I, I, I want to be a writer. That's what I wanted to do. And so I dropped out um, and wrote my first offer. I learned from Jason Capital. I went to a mastermind. And my first offer made $8 in the first year. Ooh. Oh, yeah, right, you know? <laughs> I'm sure your parents were so proud. Oh, Considering you dropped right, out, yeah. not being, like, yeah, yeah. I do have to say, like, how long did it take before your parents were like, oh, what you're doing was the right decision? Because I imagine that was met with a lot of resistance yeah, early on. Yeah, I think COVID is when they kind of, oh, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> so how many years yeah. did that take then? Oh, five, six, yeah, five, six years, yeah, yeah. But they're there now. They're yeah, finally, there. yeah, you know, they're there, they, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I wrote that first offer, Feast Your Way Fit. Um, I learned a lot, because, you know, I was like, oh, the product has to be sick, like, I've got a biology degree, you know, it's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I then I learned it was about the marketing. You know, there's a thing, like, where there's always best-selling book, and it's called best-selling book, not best-written book. Mm. And, you know, I kind of learned that lesson pretty tough. Yeah. Um, so I ended up going back to school to finish my bio degree in fourth year. Um, I skipped all my classes and decided to work on my second offer. Um, and it did okay. And then I finally launched my third offer ever called Anabolic Stretching. Um, mm. My last week of school before um, exams. And 50, 100 sales a day, pretty much right out of the gate. Just smashing all of a sudden, you know, we're doing six figures. Why am I here? Like, yeah, <laughs> like, like, yeah. Like, so that was right before finals week. That that yeah, that was, I, that was like the s four days before my finals. <sighs> I remember walking to the gym and my phone is just blowing up. Sale, 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 sale. I'm like, holy crap. This, oh, is, this is it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, did you finish your finals? It'd be so, so hard to show up and do that. I did finish most of them. And then one of them, I went into the exam. I circled all season left. True story. Dude, yeah, that's awesome. What was the class? Since you were curious. Stats. Stats. stats? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was my class. Why would you what? do that? To, why would you ruin stats in such a way? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Dude, well, 
I think that's probably pretty meta because statistically C is most likely to be the right answer the in any thing, multiple yeah. choice. So <laughs> I feel like you're really you're yep. doing stats a favor by right? doing that. Yeah. So, so oh, that's crazy, man. Yeah. And then and so from there, like you, you went to write and like did that go to freelance copy or what did that look yeah, like? Yeah. So I actually built that business up to seven figures, um, mm-hmm. and we had a uh, uh, kind of a membership site and all these different info products. And then I sold that when I was 22 to another DR marketer. Um, nice. And then after that, I took a step back, bought too many expensive leather jackets, you know, that whole thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, as an introverted kid yes, from <laughs> yeah, right? Woodview, right? Yeah. And then, Did you buy a pet squirrel? I feel like that's really no, the missing part no. for you. <laughs> Although, no, yeah, that's another story. We'll okay, later, okay. Yeah. later, later, after the podcast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, um, yeah, it eventually ended back into freelancing. Um, you know, I took some time, did some SEO stuff, learned a lot there. Uh, my biggest mistake there was I didn't take equity in those projects. I was mm. just doing... Um, kind of freelancing stuff for them. Yeah. And you know, those businesses went to 80 K month in profit. Yeah. Yeah. And, yeah, and I was going to pay pennies compared to that. And I was like, wow, that was a big and heavy lesson for me. Yeah. Um, so after that, yeah, went back into freelancing, um, hooked up with like Stefan George and those mm-hmm. guys. Um, and then I got signed on for traffic and funnels. Mm-hmm. Well. I ran the inbound closer offer, nice. which we did, you know, one, two, three million a month for a long time. Yeah. Um, and then I got, uh, taken over by Jordan Belford actually got to write for him for a while. Um, and then I got too pissed off with people were using my copy in the wrong way. So I'm like, I got to go back to, you know, owning my own business, entrepreneurship, kind of like what I was really born to do. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then ended up in the supplement space. You know, it's a great space. I'm a big health guy. I got a biology degree. Mm-hmm. Um, so I knew a lot already. Yeah. And I wanted to make like good supplements that changed the world and also like made bank. <laughs> yeah. Right. right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, thanks for putting like, our tagline yeah. in, Peter. Like, you know, let me just slip the money over. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so no, dude, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And w- what a great journey too. I, I just, mm-hmm. I love hearing that idea too. You had you had a destiny that seemed yeah. like biology, go yeah. be a doctor, but you knew yeah. there was a calling for so much more and that mm-hmm. intelligence and the ability to understand the science. Yeah. But put into words that we understand and being that writer, yeah. um, what a powerful tool. So yeah. um and obviously not only did you have success outside of supplements, but you yeah. when you kind of found yourself back home mm-hmm. um and to offer ownership in supplements, it, yeah. it's been a really great sense. So yeah. um with that, let's kind of actually transition talking a little bit more about that in yeah. specific. So um and I would tell you, you really inspired me. I was like, man, we have to have Peter on the podcast mm-hmm. at a master that we were at not too long ago and yeah. you were sharing some bombs in terms of like split tests yeah. via to run. So uh, if you could, I figured it'd be a great time for us to go through like three things, just three yeah. things, um, split tests or things that you see the other supplement offers aren't doing yeah. that you do in your business and it totally crushes. Yeah. I mean, the first thing I think that people don't do is like telling people what to do. You know, people are always like you should, they, they're vague about what the customer should be buying. Um, and one of the things that we do is we literally say, just choose the six bottle option. And mm-hmm. we just say that over and over and over again. So you literally just say choose in the copy or are yeah. you like kind of pre-framing that a little bit? We like say choose to- like in our sub headlines, you know, when we get to the kind of the price reveal, mm-hmm. it's or the VSL would be kind of the price reveal area, mm-hmm. but, you know, choose the six bottle option for the biggest savings. We kind of get that little benefit at the end. Nice yeah, for the yeah, biggest yeah. savings. Right. And how many times on average do you say that in a script or on page? Too many, I think. Too many, but not us. Actually, um, not, not, not enough. Right? Not enough, maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, um, when you started doing that and really yeah. pushing it, did you see like what was it? Do you remember? I know this might be too vague, but yeah. um, do you remember kind of the lift that you saw in your AOV when you started doing that? Not exactly, but I would say that we're pretty much consistently getting over fifty percent take rate on our six bottle option, which is no which shit. is huge. Yeah, holy cow! Right? Like I don't yeah. know if it's because we took a shot before this, yeah. but <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. Right, fifty percent on your six yeah. bottle option. Yep. Like 50, that's 50%. crazy. Like most people that I see, like most off yeah. if they're hitting 35 on their six, it's yeah. like fist pump, yeah. take it to the bank. So I know. you're getting 50%. 50% man, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. That is awesome. So guys, just take a step back. 50%, <laughs> that is yeah. nuts. So, yeah. I mean, how could you not get an AOV over 200 exactly, if you're 50% right? that way? You know. Um, that's yeah. crazy. So wh- like why the multiple mentions? Is there psychology behind that? What was kind there of- There is psychology. I mean, people just need to see something, you know, five, 10 times before they're like, oh, I'm picking up on this now. You know, that's mm-hmm. a big thing. Um, in NLP, there's like a, a whole thing where the more you see something, the more you feel comfortable with it. Mm -hmm. Um, and in sales, like when you're comfortable and you trust things, like you will buy, you know Mm -hmm. what I mean? And so when you see something more often, you're comfortable with it, which means you'll probably take that action. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and I like to, especially if you keep framing around, Hey, if you buy six, you're getting the best price. Exactly. Best price. You know, best price. You know, we've done some stuff now where it's like, you're kind of helping the environment too, because you're saving on like the gas and the shipping costs. One Uh. box 
Yeah, yeah. So that really helps too. Do you put that in the copy? We like that, mention the like, copy, Hey, yeah. like make an environmental impact yep. along with a health impact. Yeah. Today. Because I think a lot of the brands in 2022 and beyond need that little bit of like extra. It's not just about the supplement. It's like, you know, like you know, tea tree, for example, mm-hmm. um, every time you buy a shirt, they plant 10 trees. Like there has to be a little bit more beyond that. Yeah. 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 Well, and we've seen it started with millennials. It's yeah. becoming bigger with Gen Zers. The idea of CSR and a company that does more, you know, exactly. we're, we're very shoes. disenchanted. Yeah. 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 Um, so it, interesting that that could still translate to the older demographics. Yep. Um, they care. Yeah. yeah. No, that's super cool. That's super yeah. smart. So just yeah. easy, right? So yeah. would you say in general, like, and, and yeah. I know you might not know the specifics on this, yeah. would you shoot to try and make sure that in your, your script or in yeah. your sales page that you have like six bottles at least mentioned like around 10 times? Yeah, I would say. I know that. you want to be I like mean, careful with specific yeah, numbers. I would but. say like between like the amount of images we have mm-hmm. is always six bottles and then the phrasing is going to be definitely at least 10 times, not more than that. Yeah. That's awesome. That's Choose six awesome. bottles, biggest saving. Six <sighs> bottles, biggest saving. Six bottles, you're saving the environment. Six bottles, yeah. yeah. Oh, six bottles to save the yeah, environment. That's yeah. great. Like, can we save some whales today, yeah. right? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's killer. So, I mean, already, guys, great bomb. 50% take on your six bottles. So, yeah. right now, for those of you that are listening, and if you mm-hmm. have a supplement offer, just sit, and if you don't know what your take rate is on your yeah. multiple bottle options, or if yeah. you're not offering multiple options, like, first, pause, do that. Yes. Um, and, and then second, like really evaluate those numbers. Cause I mean, if you could not, if you'd be getting 50% or even above 30%, that's going to transform your yeah. business. Cause your funnel is going to be able to get such a higher AOV, yeah. which means you could pay the affiliates way more mm-hmm. or you could spend way more on cold traffic yeah. um, and still be profitable or at least breaking even to go get that. That's so goal, yeah. that's killer. Well, let's go on to number two. What's yeah. another one. So one thing that I find a lot of people do is they, I mean, we know in the industry, a lot of people like swipe a lot, you know, and they swipe each other. And so, so let's pause, define yeah. swipe. So not like door of the Explorer, right? So yeah. not, we're not talking about that kind of swiping. So yeah. define what you mean by swipe. Ah, you know, like for the most part, everyone in the industry sells a one, three, six option. Everyone does that. Mm-hmm. And when you think about it, like, why do we do that? I mean, you know, we just do it because the last guy did it and the last guy did it and the last guy did it. Like we know, and I just thought of that. I was like, oh man, maybe there's another way to do this. Um, and so I chatted with my business partner, Cody Ramlin mm-hmm. and, um, we're like, let's just see two, four, six, you know, why not? Like, why does that have to be one, three, six? Yeah, right? dude, <laughs> I love, like, I remember when you said this in the mass brand, yeah. it like, blew my mind because yeah. it was a perfect example of what you mentioned about swipe. Yeah. Um. So just, I didn't define swipe. It's the idea that you see marketing these zones working. Yeah. And you take the tactic, you take it, you plug it in, you don't yeah. question because it's what everyone else is doing. Yeah. Um, but man, are those some of the biggest marketing mistakes that people make? Yeah. Because no one actually tests if that is the best solution, right? it's just the one that they see. Yep. Right. So, um, yeah. So yeah. two, four, six, I yeah. remember when you said this, that I was sitting in my chair and yeah. that was the one that stood out to me that made me yeah. go, Holy freaking crap. That's so simple and yeah. makes so much sense. So expand on a little bit more about why you thought two, four, six, besides just seeing yeah. one, three, six, and just to expand for the listeners mm-hmm. here, if you're not familiar, mm-hmm. um, what we were saying one, three, six, that's the amount of bottles that you offer. Mm-hmm. So the standard thing we see on most supplements, on ClickBank, and I would just say in the direct response industry, yeah. is one bottle, three bottles, six bottles. Yeah. And what um, Peter mentioned is he's eliminating the one bottle, going yeah. two bottles, four bottles, six bottles. Mm-hmm. So I have some more questions about them in a second. Yeah. I want you to walk through what made you think that, hey, this is something we should try. Yeah, so we, I was thinking, like, we're looking at refunds rates, looking at chargebacks, and we're like, man, the majority of people that are doing that are one-bottle buyers. You know, it's kind of like this little disease in the supplement space, right? These one bottle buyers, they're infecting you. They're just leaking the profits, you know? Mm -hmm. And we're like, how do we get rid of these guys? I mean, without kind of hurting the funnel. And so we're like, all right, let's two, four, six. I mean, two bottles on the front end. That means like they're a little more committed. And as long as we keep the price under a hundred bucks, you know, psychologically speaking, that $98, $99 is going to help, you know, not going to hurt conversions. Um, We kind of get rid of that, you know, $49, $39 entry point. And, you know, they're more committed. The more money someone spends, the less likely they are to refund. That's kind of just a well-known thing overall. Um, yeah. Yeah, dude, I think it's so powerful. And we're, yeah. we're going to circle back on this. There's a little tease about refunds that you mentioned later yeah. that I'm going to definitely bring back up. But, okay. um, but no, I, I love what you said about the one-bottle buyer, someone that yeah. was a, a supplement seller in my past life, right? Yeah. So. I hated one bottle buyers. They were the worst, right? (laughs) They complain the most. They return the most. And they had the lowest LTV because they just weren't that committed. They wanted to try to return, right? It's almost like they hate bought your product uh, more often than not, which is like get rid of it. And I imagine Mm -hmm. the one bottle buyers you want Mm -hmm. are more likely to be two bottle buyers anyway. So so now that sounds all well and good, but I, I know 
a lot of people are probably sitting there thinking, well, that's going to lower my conversions and I don't yeah. want less buyers. Mm -hmm. But talk me through what the numbers were when you actually did that split test. The first yeah, time. we ran this on the uh, the bio switch funnel and um, man, we, we actually didn't see a change in conversion rate. Stayed the same. What That's did you see a change in though? AOV. It was <laughs> up uh, 27 bucks, I believe. $27. Just from this 246. And I mean, yeah. if you look at it, like, I mean, on the four, every bottle now is just a little more expensive. Two bottles, four bottles, right? It's a one extra bottle. But man, when you're at volume, that's a lot of money on the front end. Yeah, that's you know? huge. Like, it's a lot of money. 26 bucks. Yeah. Could be the difference between you not make, you not being able to scale yeah. and you scaling to like, eight figures in your business. 100%. Like no joke guys, yeah. like, if you are not aware that yeah. $26 is a massive difference in your yeah. business. Potentially. Well, yeah. The bio, bio switch funnel, I think has done like 25, 30 plus. So yeah, yeah it's done well. I, that would be okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's okay. Yeah. So, um, you know, going back on that, just uh, some, one of the specifics that I was kind of curious about is when you did the two, four, six in terms yeah. of coming up with the pricing, did you kind of like, keep it similar to the same methodology. Like, so yeah. oftentimes it's 49. I know you said you probably kept it. Um, you tried to keep it under a hundred. So 89 yeah. or 97, something yeah, yeah. like that. Um, like how did you do like the four bottle? Do you just do the same per bottle rate? Yep. And, okay. Yeah. Similar per bottle rate. Um, and we just put, you know, 49 per bottle, 39 per bottle, 29 per bottle. I believe that's what the pricing was. Yeah. yeah. Killer. Yeah. Killer. So again, like, I thought the last nugget was really awesome. Yeah. This one though, at the same time, like if you are not going to go, Listen to this podcast and not just split test this, just yeah. to see. You yeah. should probably start listening to different podcasts because that's just like <laughs> such a no brainer yeah. and a really awesome one. So, yeah. not to put you in a situation to have to top yourself though, Peter, because I really <laughs> love that two four six. The two four six, yeah, super cool. Right. Um, but what what's your third and final nugget for us in the supplements? I think we'll lead off like the one bottle buyers too. We'll continue on that. Um, mm -hmm. There's one that's called like the IG pop up. Mm. So. Um, it's kind of called an instant upgrade. So and it has to do with a one bottle buyer specifically. You okay. Know, this way we kind of, like 246, we targeted the whole funnel. Mm -hmm. um, the IG pop-up just is the one bottle buyer. And so this is if you don't want to do the 246. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so to turn a one bottle buyer into like a multi-bottle buyer, um, they kind of have to either buy more on the upsell or the order truck or the order bumps or downsell, whatever. Um, but they might not get there. They might, mm -hmm. they might leave. Um, so what we did was... Yeah, they're already kind of, they right? kind of suck yeah, to begin with, like, right? You know, like we have no faith and their exactly. ability to invest in our marketing. <laughs> so what I wanted to do was kind of bring that ability to turn, you know, a one bottle buyer to multiple, multiple bottle buyers on the back end and bring it to the front. Um, and so the IG pop-up does that. So when someone clicks on, you know, add to cart on the one bottle uh, option, they get a pop-up that says, would you like a second bottle for the same price and a third bottle for free? Oh, nice. You do, yeah. you present a BOGO with them, and yeah, you're doing that on the landing page. On the landing page, yeah, before nice. they get to the checkout. If they say no, they just get taken to the checkout. When they say yes, um, they get added you know, to the new checkout. Now, have you split tested that with be, like your your OTO one? Because I, I know oftentimes yeah, the my initial out. thought would yeah. be like the resistance is, mm -hmm. well, that's going to increase what they see on the order form yeah. right? when they do that. Am I going to run into a price barrier? Yeah. Um, for conversions. We haven't had any issues. Um, and the reason being, I think people that end up taking that offer, they end up buying upsells, you know, because they're prime. They just spent a lot more money. Like, mm -hmm. oh, I mean, and then they get a bigger discount on the upsell, right? Yeah. Um, and they yeah. just showed themselves to be signals as a, as a, a discount, not a discount buyer, but a deal buyer. A deal buyer, right? They yeah. self-sorted themselves. So they're very, very hyper buyers. They just needed that little extra push, you know? Yeah. Cause yeah. obviously the three felt too much. Yeah. But giving them like one more and then yeah, one for, for free. free, right? Yeah, yeah, we love those terms free, don't yeah. we? Gosh, I just, <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, but I'm the same way. If you say yeah. free, I'll, I'll be there mildly attention? more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Dude, that's a crazy one. So, yeah. um, what did you see when you did that? Did you see an AOV boost, conversion yeah. boost? Like, what did you kind of see the effects were? Um, so I have an NDA with the client I did that with, oh, but okay, we, gotcha. we did, we did have the thing I can share is that we did have a forty percent take rate. So we turned forty percent of our one bottle buyers into two and a half bottle buyers. Nice. Yeah. So, so you could do the math on that, and yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I imagine you'd have to know price points, but in general, yeah. like, yeah. like that's a huge change, right? Because yeah. we mentioned before, the one bottle buyers are most likely eroding your business more yes. than they are helping it, yeah. right? Yeah. Um, I think sometimes one bottle buyers could feel like uh, being a, a waiter and it's tips, yeah. right? We like the immediate right? cash because they're in our face, but <laughs> yeah. everything about being a server is eroding our lifestyle. Definitely, so, definitely. Um, yeah. yeah, no, that's that's interesting. So yeah. um, so for those of you that aren't doing a 246, yeah. um, just doing, you call it the IG pop? Yeah. Why do you call it the IG pop, by the you way? You know, man, I think like instant upgrade came in my head and then I realized after that upgrade starts with a U, and then I'm like, you know what? IG sounds like Instagram. It's going to be more memorable. Um, and I put it on my blog as IG pop up, and I didn't want to change it. So, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, I, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> well, you're a science guy, none of yeah, us, yeah, even yeah. though you're a writer, yeah, I'm yeah. a little bit worried about that. <laughs> but I like IG Papa. I was thinking right? there was some social draw to yeah. that. So I'm drawn mm-hmm. to it more than if you called it like a, a UG pop up. That UG, sounds yeah. dumb. Right? Yeah. yeah. I don't like that. Yeah. 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 So marketing's not about logic, it's about it's not, yeah. emotion, right? <laughs> right. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Well, cool, man. Well, you know, again, so just to kind of recap, guys, what, what the, the tips we went through, and these are huge if you're struggling with supplements or you just see the value in having supplements. Just to recap, make sure you're mentioning the six yeah. ball options. Start with the most. And don't yeah. just mention it once. Mention it. or not, And we mentioned 10 times. I'm not yeah. going to throw 10 times out there specifically because yeah. my worry is someone's just going to list it off <laughs> 10 times in a row. Like, don't yeah. be dumb. Yeah. Um, but But really make sure you're putting high frequency on that. And yeah. playing in the brains that six is the bottle, the option they want. Try mm-hmm. two, four, six, increase your AOV, $26. Yeah. Um, without affecting conversions. 20, 27, but yeah. 27 yeah. out. <laughs> Just got to beat hey, me that, up on the 1%. That, that $1 matters, <laughs> yeah, man. That yeah, $1 yeah. matters. Yeah. matters yeah. Yeah. Um, and, and then, uh, you know, the last thing, too, is is the IG pop up, which yeah. um, just making a way to get rid of those one bottle buyers, yeah. quickly convert them with a great deal um, yeah. into more. So, mm-hmm. so awesome tips, yeah, which again, again, I think one of the things I really like to bring up guys is that's increasing your AOV, yeah. which AOV in the supplement side of space. And I imagine you agree <laughs> yeah. is so powerful, especially if you're going to work with media buying affiliates. That's the money, man. Yeah. That is the money. That is the money. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like if you don't get media buyers to promote your supplement, yeah. you're just going to be kind of behind the eight ball a little bit yeah. so um and my media buyers out there should be salivating to hear that more people get those aobs right. up. so yeah. um so next i want to transition to this is something that dear my heart dear yeah. your heart it's one of the things yeah. we really connected on um mm-hmm. which is i think one of the most the best emerging markets um an industry that's probably over 90 billion dollars to this yeah. point and in consumer money yeah um and, and one that is shockingly behind in traditional marketing yeah um but is also something every supplement buyer Mm-hmm. would be very much so primed in this space, and yeah. that's pets, yes. specifically dogs. Yep. So you as a dog owner, a lover of dogs, mm-hmm. um, you know, you, you've recently jumped into this space. So what, yeah. instead of me talking all the <laughs> way about it, yeah. tell me a little bit about um, your pet offer and why you've taken that supplement experience yeah. in the human space and transitioned mm-hmm. that over into the pet space. Yeah, I'll give you the background on kind of why we started it. I mean, yeah. um, so I have a mini golden doodle, Zoe. She's gorgeous. And, she uh, is gorgeous, she's guys. Gorgeous. Yeah. <laughs> I've seen she's, that. Puppy. She's the model for the brand. Oh, and, she's uh, she's very cute. Golden doodles in general, but yours yeah. is an ex- yeah, that's like she's show special. ready. Yeah, yeah. show ready. <laughs> <laughs> and um, you know, when she was young, she was getting really sick, and I didn't understand why. You know, at one point she was like hobbling around, and she didn't like have a torn ACL. You know, and she was throwing up, and I was like, "What's going on?" I mean. She's a puppy, you know, she's like mm-hmm. one or two, like terrifying, man. Right. Um, and you know, we, we spent like thousands of dollars on doctors and x rays, and they're like, Well, let's do exploratory surgery for 10 grand. And I'm like, Are you kidding me? Like, get out of here, man, dude. That's crazy. Yeah. So, we didn't end up doing that. I'm like, There must be like a, another way, something else is wrong. And I started like looking deeper into the dog industry, and it turns out like there's no regulations. You know, to the point where like there's basically five billion dollar brands that run the industry. Please highlight. Let's take you a want moment me to, to highlight talk. This yes, some, we should yeah, because so. it freaking sucks. It so sucks. I'd like everyone to understand why this yeah. is such a powerful market. Yeah. For anyone that cares about a dog yeah. or a pet in general. A pet right? in general. Yeah. yeah. The cat market is also huge. I just. Uh, but they shouldn't care about cats. They shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here's my hot take. I don't yeah. like cats, but <laughs> I'm a big dog. I'm a big yeah, dog guy. Me too. But um, yeah, man. So I'm not gonna name the brand for right now, but um, that's fine. We're, uh, it might be listening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You know, it's a Royal Canine. So okay. big brand and, um, all organic, all natural, at least on the marketing side. And so they have something in there called meat meal and their products. It's all organic mm. and natural. Um, me and my business partner dug deeper into like, well, all this stuff was, and it turns out it's actually euthanized dogs and cats that are ground up. How? Yeah. What? Yep. That is monstrous, right? man. Yep. They literally taking like it's dumpster crazy. dogs and cats and grinding them up and putting them in your food man. that's like so not cool right and there's no regulations around it and these are like the happy brands and the brands that are all natural and organic and like i was like this is crazy what? and um so we got zoe off that like kibble crap and um that they were doing and um you know give her some raw food good organic stuff got her off some like the really bad toys that had a lot of plastic and like bha and bha that are proven to cause cancer um, we just like really cleaned up our life basically from mm-hmm. all the stuff that I thought was healthy. I mean, when a brand is organic and natural, you know, like, yeah, <laughs> right? well, and it. vets are promoting it and I'm like, it must, this must be it. Right. Yeah. And, um, you know, well, it's not like your dog gives you that feedback. To yeah. Tell she's you just, like, hey, it this yeah, she just eats it, yeah you know? exactly. And, um, yeah, I mean, within a couple of weeks, she was actually just better. Started all the problems better. were gone away. 
Start Christ. running everywhere and like hasn't had any problems since. No health problems. Literally nothing. Wow. So yep. that really had you sit there and think, yeah, yeah. we have a massive problem. Yeah. As this industry. lack of regulation. And then, you know, we had some, you know, we, we transitioned kind of unhealthy treats to good treats, uh, which ended up being the brand after, mm. um, you know, bad toys to good toys, which we will kind of push eventually. Mm-hmm. And of course, like the food, you know. Yeah. yeah. Well, so let's talk a little bit about that in the product. Well, actually, yeah. I want to take a step back. I think it's really, really cool that you brought up some stuff in the pet space because yeah. Just to give you guys an idea, like, again, we said $90 billion. That was, I think, in 2019. It's oh, probably it's, even yeah. more now because of the pandemic, pandemic puppies. That was the thing. Yeah, the yeah. timing of the market is is great. Yeah, know? but a lot of the pet industry, as you've learned, is, like, it's very fractured. Like, the very. online pet industry is still Chewy, Amazon, yeah. and then it's either you're going to Petco, Costco, Walmart, yeah. or you're going to boutique local pet shop right yeah. like that's how most people are consuming mm-hmm. um but man like what an opportunity considering yeah. they care about them right like you care yeah. a ton about I your love dog. my dog yeah and i mean i don't want her eating like that crap like how crazy yeah. I and mean, like i didn't even know and i mean how many other dog owners i remember like honestly two weeks ago where was um we we're at a bar and met this girl and you know we we're talking about it and i sent her our vsl and because very educational and mm-hmm. she was like she was literally giving her dog real canine oh no way yeah. and so she had to chuck it Dude, yeah. Yeah, and it's just, they don't have to buy the product. I mean, just like education, that's all I really care about, you know? Like, Yeah, yeah. Right? No, totally. I mean, gosh, like, I don't know how, I mean, just that's so gross. Like, it's, it's gross, just right? gross, dude. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, there was one time when I had chickens mm-hmm. that I fed them chicken nuggets, but I might be a bad person. <laughs> I might be, but I'm not selling it. That was yeah. my own home, right? Like, yeah. that's so messed up. So, yeah. so that being said, that led to a journey where you saw this, dis- like, this ability to see your dog mm-hmm. reclaim its health, be where she wants to be, where she should be, yeah. and hopefully live a long, happy, healthy life. But that probably really helped you expose that there's a lot of problems than products in the pet industry, which yeah. led you with your partner yeah. to create Pup Labs. Talk a little about the products that you guys are selling right now. Yeah, Pup Labs is, I mean, is our kind of answer to this very shady industry, I guess. Mm-hmm. You know, we use only like NASC certified manufacturers, which is yeah. So pause and explain yeah, yeah. what that is, because I think yeah. that's something you told me about. I was like. Yeah, these sounds like an acronym. I hear a lot of those. Like <laughs> NASC is the National Animal Supplements Council, and that essentially just regulates the industry. You know, if you're not NASC certified, then you're unregulated, and there are a lot of companies out there that still do that because mm-hmm. no one's kind of beating you down. Yeah, because um, it's not a government regulation. It's not a government body. regulation. It's, it's yeah. private, right? Yeah. So, like, FDA does not care about supplement. Yeah. Dog side, you know, not yet at least. Dogs can't sue. <laughs> they can't sue, you know. Yeah. And yeah so. Well, they also can't pay taxes, so right? there's another the reason not yeah. to protect them. And, so. you know, the dog doesn't say that the supplement is bad. They yeah. just eat it, and then eventually they start getting sick, and sometimes it's hard to make that link between stuff, you mm-hmm. know? Yeah. Um, yeah, so so you, you, you realize there's a big hole in the market yeah. that needed to be filled from education but also from product standpoint. Yeah. So what are the products that you have right now? Uh, so we have a product called Fresh Breathies, um, and that started out, you know, my dog has some bad breath, and... Um, we are like, you know, what really causes bad breath? Because all this, like, toothbrushing. But it never, like, really lasted. It just was, like, you know, 12 hours maybe, you know. And then there was, like, the option to put, like, chemicals in her water bowl. But, like, I don't want to feed mm. my dog chemicals. I mean, like, yeah. Right? Like, yeah, like, it doesn't seem good. No. Right? I definitely don't want to brush her teeth. No. Be, no, thank you. <laughs> right? Like, sticking your finger in there and the sharp teeth and she gets mad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, yeah. It, it's a great place to be with a pissed off dog. Yeah. <laughs> like, finger in the mouth. Yeah. yeah. And it, golden doodles aren't small dogs no, unless you no. get the minis. So. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, so yeah, Fresh Breathies came about and because we looked deeper and it was like all the problems that the, like the, uh, the dog food companies are creating with their kibble and all this like crap was like ruining their, their digestive health. And it turns out a lot of like the bacteria in your digestion actually causes the bad breath for dogs. And so like, how do we kind of like fix that? And so we kind of developed and like worked with a manufacturer that's created this Fresh Breathies, which is like a prebiotic, probiotic formula that works to work on digestive dysfunction, which is kind of what um, the dog are suffering from and it helps eliminate bad breath um, very fast it works like amazing um, it works a couple weeks you know dogs love the treat it's wrapped in this delicious chicken flavor um, mm-hmm. yeah I, I could say my my little shih tzu yeah. mabel she loves it yeah. so it is it is like a staple in the afternoon for yeah. us to give her fresh breathies and um she might smell but her breath doesn't so nice. <laughs> <laughs> it's just more dog sense yeah. so that's awesome. So, yeah. well, that being said, so I know you have some other products, but talking yeah. a little bit about Fresh Breathies, not only is it yeah. a great product, mm-hmm. it's also just some really nice performance as well. So yeah. we, we mentioned before, you know, you've done some great stuff with the supplement space. Yeah. And I know Fresh Breathies has a claim that, that's pretty powerful yeah. in in return or in regards to returns we talked about before. So why don't you yeah. share that with the people? Yeah, but we've had, I mean, that's like one of the lowest returns.
burn rates in history at ClickBank, I believe. If yeah. not the lowest, it's somewhere up there now. Yeah, I yeah. think collectively you guys are still under like 2% yeah. of returns overall, which yeah. is nuts. That yep. is nuts. Like yeah. Yeah. a good supplement is under 5% yeah, it's in total a very returns. Good supplement. Yeah, 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 yeah. so we're well be- below that, which yeah. is really impressive. Meaning that it works as someone that uses it, it's really fantastic. But not yeah. only is it working yeah. and people are returning it, yeah. but it converts pretty well too, right? Yeah. And what's crazy is the returns. Like we listen to our like kind of when people call in yeah. and the only answer they return is because my dog just doesn't like the flavor. That's the only reason. Yeah. There's yeah. no like no one doesn't like the product. It doesn't not work. It just they don't want to eat it. And you know, there's nothing you can do with that. Yeah. I mean, yeah. we'll make some other flavors eventually. But I, I think one of the things that shocked me, so we um, do have a, a pet vertical on ClickBank, but one of the things yeah. that was really interesting um, and this is actually something that made me think Justin Goff said this years ago when mm-hmm. he was talking about, hey, like pet products, the paleo list, right? Yeah. Like high raw foods. So you guys actually did this, some email test on even like your own supplement list. Yeah. And it performed really well, right? It performed well, man. I mean, very comparable to any of the supplement offers. Um, and of course, the low refund rates help a lot, right? Yeah. yeah. So from a net perspective on RevShare, yeah. it yeah. probably performed better. And it was great because you could kind of clean your list with it. It's not going to be yeah. a highly aggressive health offer. Exactly. Um, and and think to get same, like similar performance yeah. on something that isn't going to be 100% to your list is yeah. really, really powerful. Yeah, we're excited. Um, and as well, too, it, it's it's great if you run media buying because... Yeah, the compliance. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. it's a compliant offer. It runs Facebook, YouTube. I mean, it's a dog offer. I mean, it's, I mean Facebook, YouTube love dogs. People love to see puppies. And mm-hmm. Facebook knows, Instagram knows, YouTube knows that, like, people see a dog, they're going to watch more. Mm-hmm. Even if it's an ad, they're just going to watch it. Yeah. And they just want more time on the platform. Totally. I mean, yeah. gosh, it was uh, Roy McDonald. Have you have you read Alchemy, The Dark yeah. Art of... Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He talks about it. He's like, hey, you put a brand... You put a pet... In marketing, conversions go up. It yeah. doesn't even matter if your dog, it's a pet product. Like People just love it. So yeah. you're 100% right. So yeah. really, really powerful product. Um, yeah. An amazing one that's doing really well for you guys. And, and yeah. there's some more stuff coming down the road. Yeah. Um, I just really want to bring that up for anyone out there that is sitting here thinking, man, I've been looking for a pet product or you have a health list. You're looking to promote something else. Yeah. It is on ClickBank. Um, you know, I think there's still some ads for it too. You should give it yeah. a test. Um, and, and, and watch, uh, you make a bunch of happy puppies on your yeah. email list yeah. or wherever you happen to promote. So, yeah. um, with that, the, I, I kind of mentioned this earlier, there's a tease <laughs> to something that, you know, we talked a lot about successful things, you, and you have yeah. successful supplement products, you now have, um, you know, a successful pet company, yeah. um, in the supplement space. And people are like, man, Peter rocks. <laughs> How can I rock like Peter? So yeah. there's one other thing that you're doing yeah. that I've seen, I will tell you guys, I've seen some of the results of what Peter's been doing with people he's been working with. Him and his partner, Cody. Mm -hmm. And it's impressive. It really is impressive to go from zero to where they end up at. It's really, really powerful. So talk a little about how you're helping people kind of share your wisdom, your brilliance, and bring it to their own businesses and their own life. Yeah, man. We we launched this kind of mastermind coaching program earlier this year called Supplement Millionaire. Mm -hmm. Um, It's essentially a collection of what like is working right now in 2022 for us and our own brands, both me and Cody. And, you know, Cody has his own brand, Science Naturals, which does well over eight figures a year. I have my own brands in the supplement space as well as the dog space now. And it's a variety of cold traffic, affiliate, et cetera. Um, but we found that a lot of people are teaching from 2017, 2016. That's what worked then. But internet marketing, like 2017, that's like three decades ago. You know? I know. <laughs> yeah. Like that's what my dad's doing. Right? right? Like that's not, yeah, there's no way. It's way too old. Yeah. So we're like, you know, we're going to make our own mastermind. I mean, we're already doing this stuff. Let's just help other people because ultimately like when we build up other people, this whole thing of like they promote us, we promote them, we're all making money with each other. The more people we help succeed, they'll actually help our business grow. Yeah. It's like crazy how it works. It is. Oh, so, uh, can you share any like recent examples of some success? Like I know there's some yeah. that I've seen that I was like, yeah. wow, really impressive, but I'd love to hear from you some of the students you're you're most proud of. Yeah, we had one student, Luke, uh, recently who's actually a funny story. He actually like mushroom thought, guy, right? Yeah, mushroom yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. So before the mastermind, we had the product version of this um, mm-hmm. that we sold late last year uh, before we realized we needed kind of ongoing coaching for people. And what Luke did, he actually ended up buying the product, but then like refunding it, but keeping it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But he actually ended up going through the program and like implementing anything. And he turned like he turned like a two thousand dollar a month business that was losing money to like eighty k a month. Yeah, <laughs> it's dude, crazy, and, dude. Like he yeah. showed me like his old sales pages. Yeah, and the way that he had shifted things. Yeah, night and day yeah. in terms of the quality. And his product's fantastic. It's his fantastic product. Really, yeah. we're, we're onboarding him right now. And yeah. Um, it's looking really, really good. It's so go. um, yeah, that's it's crazy. Go. Yeah. yeah. And so um, talk a little bit, walk me through kind of like what the support is. What do they get through the yeah. program? So it's not just like a it's here, not, do this. It's right. a little bit more, right? 
Yeah. So, you know, we have over 70 hours of video, first of all, in the, you know, in the library and growing, you know, every week we do a call. Mm -hmm. Um, But yeah, it's kind of covers everything from like, even from just accounting lawyers, how to set up your business, how to name your business and name your products all the way to like copy marketing, split testing, optimization. And then even farther than that team building operations, hiring VAs, hiring affiliate managers, literally like A to Z of supplement building, because it's not just about copy and marketing. You know, you have big companies like They'll just, you know, there's people like saying like, you know, I'm making 500 million a year or whatever they want to say. And then all of a sudden, you know, they're keeping like 50 bucks. Yeah. You know? Yeah, totally. It's like all revenue focus. And like, we're all about like supplement profits, Mm -hmm. you know? And uh, we have a philosophy. It's a people over profits or in my case, pops over profits. (laughs) Yeah. And then profits over revenue. Yeah. Um, Because that's what it's about. It's about the people first, the product first, and then the profits and then revenue last. Well, and one of the things you mentioned that I really love about it is you mentioned that it's not it's not just the marketing, right? Yeah, There's yeah. a lot of products out there that will tell you yeah. they're gonna teach you how to sell something. Yeah. But how to scale something scale. and sell something yeah. are two different things. Like yeah. knowing you have the VAs, knowing you have the team in place, yep. knowing that you have the infrastructure and the legal protection to actually grow right. and not a Burn. road under all of that, right? And like you said, yeah. have great top line revenue that means nothing because you're just as broke as the day that you started. Exactly. Because you yeah. keep none of it, right? right? Yeah. So, um, well, no, that that's super impressive. So, mm-hmm. and one of the things too, you mentioned that there's ongoing calls. So talk a little yeah. bit about that. So there's ongoing coaching calls every Thursday um, with the entire groups, so not only to get to meet all the other affiliates that could promote you, um, we get expert coaching from like myself in the copy space, uh, in the marketing space. We bring in experts in the copy marketing space, kind of stuff that I'm not like, well versed in, like email deliverability and stuff like that. And then we also do operations, and we bring in the COO Malai of mm-hmm. Science Naturals, um, and they do well over eight figures. And she literally teaches how she built the team there, and you just copy her stuff. Wow, it's amazing, awesome. right? And Malai, for those, I'm yeah. sure she'd love that we were just talking we're about it. And only yeah. is she um, a lover of Bruno Mars and Anderson Pock, but yeah, she, she is, is a fantastic operator, yeah. great person. I would trust her to operate anything. Oh, she's amazing. Any or two. She's, uh, she's the best. So, yeah. yeah, having access to, like, it really is soup to nuts. Like, you, yeah. you're not only going to get the front end coaching yeah. you need, mm-hmm. but ongoing training yeah. um, throughout the mastermind to make yeah. sure you succeed. One of the things mentioned I think is, is really key is mm-hmm. oftentimes you probably meet a lot of people that maybe it's their first supplement or yeah. they're trying a supplement and they haven't reached that success. Traffic is one of the biggest problems yep. that they run into amongst all the other things, mm-hmm. right? Uh, but you guys have kind of solved that a little bit. And you, you mentioned a little bit with, yeah. hey, they promote each other. Right. Walk through that a little bit more and, and talk about that because I think yeah. that's a powerful key is to have that built-in traffic yeah. with the education. Yeah, so one of the other calls we do every week is affiliate management and that's all about kind of meeting and networking and kind of like what a lot of people are doing at TNC here. Mm-hmm. Uh, but then, you know, the thing about cold traffic is like, you usually need like five, 10 grand right away just to burn on yeah. ads, just to test it. Yeah. And that's expensive for people starting out, you know, mm-hmm. if you don't, know it's going to work, especially if you're new to DR. Um, and so with having all these master, master members that are kind of like crushing it, um, you get to start testing on their list right away. And you know, if you're in the mastermind, like we'll test you on the science naturals list. Um, so you get early data and then because direct response marketing in a nutshell is just split testing and split testing and split testing until you just get the final version mm-hmm. and they just keep split testing until you kind of, you just keep going. It's never ending split testing. Just keep, you know, yeah. finding that best version of the VSO. Yeah. And, and I think it's one of the things where you see a lot of people and even good offers die yeah. is they can't get that initial test right? and they go out, they roll an offer to affiliates and it's the first time traffic touches it yeah. and it doesn't do well and then they run out of anywhere else to go mm-hmm. and they're like great this sucks um, but boy yeah having that that test um, ecosphere yeah. um, along with mastermind and all the other tools I think is one of those things that's really powerful right. and I've seen it so seeing from your students come like yeah. getting people that are launching someone someone launching their first supplements right. and like seeing the quality blows my mind like oh, they yeah. actually have success in convergence John Rydell is yeah. is one that I think of his, his story is fantastic yep. it's, yeah. uh, it's it's amazing and like we have you know a second level in the you know it's not just beginner I mean we have a wide range but I mean we have lines publishing in there I mean yeah like, top offers on ClickBank one two three yeah. four I think right now yeah so. literally one of the best per- and so the, I'm yeah. glad you brought that up because it's I was going to ask the next question is like, who's yeah. the right person, but yeah. really the right person's anyone that wants to improve their supplement offers, right? supplements or their business ecosystems. That's the biggest thing, gotcha, you know, okay. because it's all about this CEO thing where, I mean, the CEO's job is to lead and mm-hmm. count the money. That's their job. Everyone. Yeah, that's it. Be stacking the dollars. <laughs> yeah. Everyone else should be put in place to actually run their business and do their job. You mm-hmm. know, Cody's a phenomenal operations guy and he's really built that for people. I mean, the guy's like, I think he's traveling right now for a month and his whole team is like working for him and like crazy money. Great. And he's going to he's gonna end up traveling. He's going to back in San Diego and he's going to have more money in his bank account because he's built this ecosystem, this team, this operation. And that's what we're trying to build, like how to build a team, how to be a real CEO of a company. Mm-hmm. Like none of this like offer ownership, but like entrepreneurship, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You know, that that is, 
because it is, I can tell you, that when I think of Cody, yeah. outside of buy one, get three free on turmeric, <laughs> the second thing that comes to mind is yeah. he has built one of the best teams I've seen Amazing from team. a supplement Amazing. company. Yeah. Like, and, and you're right, he doesn't have to be like there for yeah. them to go do and operate and be successful. Yeah. And it's one of my favorite teams to interact with. Yeah. So, um, and, and with the mastermind, you really get access to that team as well. Yeah. Not only in terms of their expertise and how to develop something like that, mm-hmm. but even some of the resources to help grow yeah. your business and so on and so forth. That's really yeah. And the cool thing too, is that like, we're the only mastermind that I know of. And I believe right now it's the only mastermind that actually lets you bring your whole team. So you, Kyle sign up, you can bring mm-hmm. your copywriter, your affiliate manager, and you send them to the calls that are specific to them. So they get, kind of teach in that way the right way and you don't have to show up as ceo and learn that because again your job is to count the money and lead the team Mm. and send your people to the right calls to the right mastermind events so they can get better in themselves and invest in your team that is really cool i didn't i didn't even know that that's so you have a team of 10 people they're all welcome there's no extra fees it's all just like one because it's about building this family because again like the more companies we build the more that we make anyways, you know, mm-hmm. and the more that everyone makes in our community. Yeah. So, hey, yeah. ClickBank loves that stuff. That's our way, right? Yeah. We, if we grow together, we all win together, right? Yeah, and exactly. it, we don't need to make this a zero-sum game. Like, it's there's not a zero-sum game. Yeah. 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 I don't know what the inverse of that would be on zero-sum, yeah. but it's it's family lifting game is what we're looking at. Yes. I'm going to work on that. That's yeah. not a great verb. I, I think it's yeah. called positive sum, I believe. Positive sum? Positive oh, gosh, sum I feel yeah. like that's my game theory. Yeah, yeah. I remember <laughs> this stuff now, so yeah. it's been a while. But yeah. um, but no, I mean, I mean, that's I mean. So that being said, and we'll make sure to put the links in the description. So yeah. for those who are listening and probably have either been struggling in their businesses or maybe just feeling like there's opportunities for more or yeah. they have a supplement or they'd like to have a supplement, this is probably a great mastermind for them to join. How, yeah. how do they go about doing that? Who should they reach out to? What, what would be best for them? Yeah, we'll put links in this show, but you can go to supplementmillionaire.com mm-hmm. um, and you'll get the landing page there and kind of the, all the information is there, how it works. We have a short video explaining the whole process. Um, and, you know, if you have a big company and you're looking to really build up teams, like we kind of have like a VIP elite section and you can kind of hit us up. Um, you can just shoot me an email at peter at peterzemus.com and um, we'll put that in the, in the show yeah. notes. Awesome. Um, I believe there's a landing page to my blog. Um, the be, be Your Control blog, the one, the split testing one. Like nice. Crazy. <laughs> well, I was going to even oh, mention can, that too. Yeah. I was going to say, so if, yeah, yeah. For, I was going to say, for those of you that if, you know, obviously please, if you have any interest in increasing your operations or making a supplement, which yeah. you all should. They really should. Um, you, any you really should. should. I mean, manifestation for itself is like lacking on supplements. I mean, that whole yeah. niche, like. We were just yeah. talking about that before he came up. Yeah. Here. Yeah. Like, uh-huh. and if you think about it, like there's really no product that, that having a healthier body or something right? that's going to, increase your performance that a supplement couldn't yeah, solve. Like even gardening, for example, there's none of those big gardening offers like Ted's yeah. working and stuff. I mean, just have an energy supplement with it. So yeah. Like that's all or it joints. Or joints. Joints yes. is a huge one. Dude, like, yeah. I mean, if I'm sitting there gripping the garden, the next thing, inflammation's right? beginning to issue. It's something as simple as an order bump, right? Like understanding that it could really add value to your business. Exactly. And Supplement Millionaire is going to get you there so much faster. Because well, um, I'm probably sure you've learned in your business, you mentioned way back when you're talking about doing the dating offers <laughs> yeah. and immersing yourself. Yeah. You got hooked up with Jason Capital. It's it's yeah. not like you just figured out how to do this all on yeah, your own. Yeah, I got very lucky to find the right guy at the right time. And Jason is like one of the smartest marketers on this planet. He I really agree. is. And this he was really before is. he was famous, so he was like not expensive back then. Yeah, <laughs> good. <laughs> you you know? got it right. You got it yeah, right. So. Yeah. Um, but but I think uh, you know for all those people to think about it, it's it's tempting to think you could figure it out on your own. Yeah. And, and you might be able to, but by the time you figure it out. Everyone yeah. else has moved past you because they chose to accelerate through gaining the wisdom expertise of yeah. others, which is what Supplement Millionaire Mastermind is yeah. going to do. But it's so. also about the right people at the right time. I mean, it's not even, let's say, you just hire the wrong copywriter or the mm-hmm. wrong lawyer. Sure, you burn the money, but it's the time you can't get back. And in internet yeah. marketing, since it moves so quickly, every six months is changing. Yeah. I mean, speed is everything in this yeah. game. And knowing the right people to work with, which is kind of our network, we kind of vet people very, very tough. Mm-hmm. And we fired people from the network. We fired people from the mastermind that don't do the work. Because we really only want CEOs, we want people that like really want to change their lives and build businesses. We don't want people that just want to create an offer and whatever. Like we want the real community, like family, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you want yeah. something more, right? Yeah. This isn't. It's not a mastermind that's transactional. It's transformational, no. yes. and that requires a relationship to make that difference. Yeah. Um, and, and so I, I think that's really powerful. And I've enjoyed. It. I've been on a couple of your guys' calls. Yeah. Um, helping out on the affiliate side, and it's yeah. awesome. It's a great community and great yeah. people and. And again, something that for really any of the listeners here, it makes mm. a ton of sense to join. Not me yeah. making this all too sales pitchy, and I, yeah. I hope that's not the case because this is really coming from a sincerity that yeah. I talk with so many people that want to go into the supplement realm. They mm-hmm. see the value in it, 
Um, but they also don't know what those next steps are. And, yeah. and, you know, I could do what I can in an hour long call, but that's just an hour long call. Right. But you guys are providing us so much more resources, education, community, everything mm. you need to create a successful supplement offer. Yeah. Um, and it's really impressive. So, um, well, so we'll put that in the show notes. Uh, make sure that you could drive that. It's really, really amazing. I cannot recommend enough. Thank you, um, but also you mentioned something that, uh, gosh, I think it was two years ago, created all sorts of controversy. Right. If you just want oh, to hear more. It was actually earlier Peter. this year. Yeah. It was earlier this yeah, year? Yeah. Man, time is escaping yeah. me. <laughs> but um, yeah, Peter has um, a blog that yeah. uh, you know recently went a bit viral with some rankings <laughs> that you put out there. But yeah. Um, yeah, tell a little people how if they want to get in contact with you yeah. or follow and get more information from you, where are some of the best places to do that? I'm sorry, this chair is yeah. like the squeakiest <laughs> thing ever. Sorry about that. Yeah, so beatyourcontrol.com is the blog, which I don't know how I ended up with a domain name. I'm Yeah, dude, that's impressive. Right? That was even available. So, yeah. yeah. Um, and yeah, so earlier this year, I ranked a bunch of operators against each other and uh, started a little, little war in the direct response community for about, I think, 24 hours. The entire direct response community has just stopped. There's yes. hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of comments. It went viral over Reddit. I mean, it was it was pretty funny. I mean, and I did it for fun. I wasn't just like, it was eh, a little bit strategic, but... Yeah, yeah, time, but, but I mean, did you think that it was going to blow no, up as much as it did? Absolutely not. You know, yeah. I, I, you know, it's funny that I sent it to one guy. That's it. I didn't post it on my Facebook wall. I didn't email the list. I sent it to one person on Facebook, uh, Chris Wright. He posted it, and then bonkers, mm, just man. bonkers. That is crazy. Um, but the blog Chris. is built around split testing. I beatyourcontrol.com is yeah. kind of the name itself, and I kind of share all the split test wins. I mean, some of the stuff we talked about today is on there in kind of more graphic detail. Um, so you can actually see the images before and after, which might be helpful for everybody. Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. Well, beautiful, Peter. I, mean, I yeah. really appreciate you spending time with us, um, yeah. taking out with TNC, enjoying the oddly hot but still beautiful weather beautiful, out here, yeah, uh, yeah. and taking some time in this hotel room. Yeah. Um, so again, guys, just supplement your mastermind. Pup Labs, please, you should yeah. go check it out. Promote it if it works for you. Yeah. Um, join Supplement Millionaire, or at least look into it. Yeah. Um, and then uh, beatyourcontrol.com. So, yeah. Peter, it's been great um, chatting with you on a recorded mic. Um, yeah. You know, awesome. it's, yeah. it's always fun. So yeah. hopefully we get to do it again in the future. Definitely. And for all the listeners out there, please, Please rate, yeah. review, subscribe, yeah. um, and please, uh, if there's ever anyone else you'd like as an interview, questions you'd like to answer, make sure to put those in the comments, and we, we do listen and watch those. Yeah. Uh, before you go, Peter, anything you want to say to the audience? Uh, no, man, just let me know if those split tests win. I'm very curious. I'll always share the data, continue to kind of improve everything in the testing philosophies, and obviously would love to feature anyone on the blog that has the split test wins and losses. I mean, I share the losses, too, because, I mean, theirs is just as valuable. You know? yeah. yeah. There's no there's no win without a loss, right? right? Like, and it's not a loss. It's education. I'm learning something, which ends up being a win anyways yeah, yeah exactly i love it yeah. perfect all right guys well thanks so much please enjoy and be safe out there and we're gonna go enjoy the rest of our team too yeah, <laughs> all right see you yeah. bye